can see on a PPT that I have shown here a cut section part of the internal combustion engine. Here, uh, let us see what are the important parts of the IC engine. This particular part is a cylinder, is cut section cylinder. These two are the walls. One will be inlet wall, another will be exhaust wall. This is the spark plug used for a combustion. This is the piston which will be round in a shape and the piston is connected to one more part that is called as connecting rod. Now this connecting rod and piston, these two are connected to each other by using gudgeon pin. So this circular part what you are observing that is what a gudgeon pin. Now piston and connecting rod is connected by gudgeon pin. This connecting rod is connected to crankshaft through a crank so this is one center and this is another center in between we consider that the component crank is present and by using this crank we are converting rotary motion into the uh, reciprocating motion or vice versa Ro uh, this reciprocating motion into the rotary motion right so here on the piston you will find that there are piston rings are also present piston rings are present and various other nomenclatures are also shown like top dead center bottom dead center stroke etc etc so this is actual ic engine how it looks symbolically this ic engine can be shown as like this one so a line diagram is shown what is present in a line diagram you can see that this is a cylinder a piston this is inlet wall, exhaust wall. So now if you see, inlet wall and exhaust wall actual shape is like this. But symbolically we are showing like a T shape. This is a spark plug or fuel injector depending upon which engine is there. Then this is connecting rod. This is crank and this is a crankshaft. So you can understood that there is a difference in a figure, this one and this one. We are simplifying this particular figure and drawing like this called as line diagram for better understanding you can see that the connecting rod actual shape is like this we have shown one line only the crank shape is like this we are showing only circular actual spark plug is looking like this but we are showing spark plug symbolically like this okay so the whole aim of this particular device is to get a output power now how we'll get output power the output power will be available at the output shaft and what is output shaft the crank shaft so this is a crank shaft or in this figure this is a crank shaft so the output energy which will be a mechanical energy will be available at this point or at this point and that mechanical energy we can use for a number of applications like it can be generally it is used for atom boil like two wheeler four wheeler etc sometime it is used for a stationary application like generation of electricity a generator seat is used sometime it is used for a pumping devices etc so wherever we require mechanical energy as an input for a device this ic engine this particular device can give the energy input to that particular device i told you example already like generator pump atom boils right now let's understand there are some parameters given here first parameter this one this one is what a bore now what is bore if you see a definition of bore bore is the internal diameter of the cylinder what is the internal diameter of the cylinder now we have seen this cylinder if i look from a top view it will be looking a circular and for circular we will have a diameter so that particular diameter is called as bore diameter or simply bore okay then there are two point one point is called as top dead center here top dead center and here it is called as a bottom dead center in between distance be distance between top dead center and bottom dead center the distance is shown by a stroke now let's understand what is top dead center or what is meant by dead center first i told you there are two top, uh, two dead centers one is top dead center and there is bottom dead center now what is meant by dead center dead center is a point where piston velocity will be the zero piston velocity will be the zero so by the figure we can understand that at this point the piston velocity will be the zero at this point piston velocity will be the zero okay now as this particular point is at the top so this is called as top dead center 
at as this particular point is at the bottom and that's why it's called as bottom dead center so top dead center is at the top where piston velocity is become zero bottom dead center is again a bottom point where piston velocity is zero alternative definition for this is what a top dead center shows a position of piston shows a position of piston at the extreme top means the, this particular piston cannot move above the top dead center position or top dead center point this piston cannot move down below the bottom dead center point okay so this shows extreme top position of the piston this shows extreme bottom position of the piston so whatever piston movement is there that piston movement will be only between top dead center and bottom dead center it cannot go above the top dead center it cannot go below the top dead center okay and distance between these two is called as a stroke distance between these two is called as a stroke okay <coughs> so this stroke is actually a distance and a top dead center bottom dead center is actually a point actually a point right stop going.